Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to talk about enabling and disabling plugins for Unreal Engine 5. Now, there's a lot of reasons why you might want to enable or disable plugins. In the case of disabling, maybe you just don't want that bloat in your project, or when you go to package your project, you don't want to risk adding that extra content. In the case of enabling, maybe you only want to enable a plugin locally, or maybe you want to enable a plugin permanently. So the most direct way to enable plugins is to come up to Edit, Plugins, and then you can see all of the plugins that are available to you. In these little check boxes, this is enabling or disabling them, true or false. When you enable one or disable, the engine is going to ask you to restart. Now what's going on here is that these are actually overrides, the overriding the engine. And when you change these, they will get stored on your U project. So the second way we can edit plugins is by coming to our U project in a file browser. If we right click and we open this with a notepad, you're gonna see all the plugins that you have enabled or disabled, anything that's overriding the engine settings. So if we wanted to enable or disable from here, we just come to enabled and change it from true to false and vice versa, change it from false to true. Now, once again, this is just an override. So this is gonna work on a per project basis. If you wanted to copy this stuff over to another project, you could do that. But if you wanted to enable plugins permanently, the best way to do that is by coming to where your engines are stored. In my case, it's on the C drive under program files, Epic Games. And then you can see all of your engine versions. You can choose which version you want. So I want Unreal 5.4, and then we'll go to engine, plugins, and then this is a list of all of the plugins that are available to you. Now the listing of these are gonna look a little bit different than what's in the plugin window, but all of the plugins are here. You may find some of the plugins in different nested folders, you know, such as we have interchange in here, and then there's also some supporting interchange stuff in test. Right, so definitely look around, see what you can find. But if I wanted to enable a plugin permanently, we would come to something like 2D, Paper 2D, and every single plugin is gonna have a .u plugin asset. And if we right click on this and we open this with a text editor, we can see that there's a whole bunch of information here, but what we wanna look at is enabled by default, true. So in the case of ones that aren't enabled, we could set this to true. And if you don't want this enabled by default, we could set this to false. And then you'll go and reopen your project and you should see that this is disabled or enabled now. All right guys, that covers enabling and disabling plugins. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below. Thanks guys.